Banks spend a lot of time trying to manage interest rate risk, foreign currency risk, credit risk. But what the 2008 financial crisis taught them is they also need to pay attention to liquidity risk. And that's because a liquidity crisis could be absolutely catastrophic to a bank. It could lead to the bank's insolvency. So the question is, how do we measure liquidity risk? How do we assess this? Well, we can use something called value at risk, VAR. And VAR is going to measure the maximum potential loss and the value of a financial instrument over a certain period of time, which is called the VAR time horizon, for a certain confidence level, which is set by the bank when it's doing its analysis. So let's say that we've got a bank that paid $940 for a bond. Now, you know that the value of that bond is going to go up or down based on changes in interest rates. And that's going to be affected by is the bond fixed rate or floating rate? Is it long term? Is it short term? All those factors and characteristics of the bond are going to affect the extent to which it's sensitive to changes in interest rates. But what if we want to know the maximum loss that the bank could expect to have on that bond in the next six months with a 90% confidence level? What we could do? We could do a Monte Carlo simulation and we end up with a distribution that looks like this. And we'd say, look, basically, so if at a 90% confidence level, we can say that the maximum loss on that bond in the next six months is going to be $200. Okay, that's the maximum that we can expect in, in the next six months, $200 loss on that bond. Now, that doesn't mean that that, that can't be worse than that. There's a 10% chance, and that's the shaded area here. It, there could be a worse outcome. It could be a $500 loss. It could be a $700 loss, right? There could be a, a larger loss. We're just looking at with a 90% confidence level. And the bank, the bank could set, when they're doing the analysis, they could have said we wanted a 95% confidence level, okay? They, so they can set that. But we're basically saying, look, there is a 10% chance that that maximum loss is going to be more than $200, OK, so that's what we're doing. We're kind of it's kind of telling us about potential worst case scenario with a 90 percent confidence uh, confidence level. And again, the bank can set the confidence level and say, OK, do we want 85, 80, 90 and so forth? Now, note the following. You can also use this type of analysis to predict the maximum decrease in the bank's net interest income. OK, or the bank's economic value of its equity. OK, so the value of the firm. So when we look at the maximum loss and the value of a financial instrument, we're going to call it VAR, value at risk. But when we look at it as the maximum decrease in the economic value of equity for the bank, we would call it equity at risk. But it's, a, it's the same idea. We're just thinking about the maximum decrease in the bank's equity for a certain period of time for a certain confidence level. OK, now when we look at the maximum decrease in net interest income of the bank, we call it earnings at risk. But in each case, it's the same concept. We're looking at the maximum decline we could have for over a certain time period for a certain confidence level.